Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a quick video about Kulervo's Bane, a resource that is quite easy to get but you will need a lot of it. It is used to buy Kulervo's parts and his signature shotgun, which looks very nice. The only way to get Kulervo's Bane is by defeating Kulervo on his prison island, that only appears during Sorrow, Fear and Anger Spirals. At the time of making this video, update 33.5, the Seven Sins of Kulervo, an event is going on that allows players to access Kulervo's prison via a story called Kulervo's Hold, which costs 5 Pathos Clams to start at any time, not only during the Sorrow, Fear and Anger Spirals. The story is the same as any other, with one of the objectives defeating Kulervo. I do not recommend you play this unless you have enough Pathos Clams. If you do not have enough Pathos Clams, I recommend you wait up for Sorrow, Fear and Anger Spirals and engage him then, but since he is not usually part of the story, you will have to go and find him by yourself. Also, don't forget that you have to play the Duviri experience for this and not the lone story. Let's look at how to get to him. Kulervo's Hold Island is located at the bottom of the map. Once you get there, you can talk to Duviri Ballas on the balcony of the arena and challenge Kulervo. The fight against him can be quite hard, so I suggest you get some additional decrees before engaging him. You know, hurt some trams, play some shazen, that kind of stuff. I suggest going for decrees that allow you to heal mid-fight and ones that increase your overall damage since this will make things a lot easier. Now let's look at the fight really quickly. He has four kinds of attacks. One on one, in which he will engage you specifically, then there is area of effect attacks, which will create a circle on the ground around Clervo, which you need to avoid. The third kind of attack are his specters, which will fly only in one spot and shoot projectiles, which will explode after some time upon hitting a surface. And last kind of attack is the beam attack, which will happen after you kill his minions, if you kill them. To avoid those, you only need to roll. You need to defeat Kulervo three times in one fight. During the first time, he will only use one on one attacks and area of effect attacks. During the second stage, he will start to use his explosive throwing specters and also will become imbued by status attacks, depending on the spiral kind the fear, anger, and sorrow. On the last stage, the third stage, he will go full bonkers and move very quickly after you dispatch his minions, so watch out and prepare to roll. What you can do is actually try to kill him before you kill the minions, which actually works. So yeah, if you can, kill only Kulervo. Besides that, there is really nothing else about this fight. After you defeat Kulervo, you need to complete the story to the end. If you don't, you will not get all the drops called Kulervo's Bane. If you have played on the normal difficulty, you can get from 4 to 6 Kulervo's Bane, but if you've played on the Steel Path difficulty, you can get from 6 to 8 Kulervo's Bane. You also won't get Kulervo's Bane right away, you will get it after you defeat the Orverm or after you get out of the mission, which is quite stupid, but this is how it works. Oh yeah, another thing I should mention is that resource boosters do not work with it, so yeah, you're screwed. With Kulervo's Bane you can buy his blueprint and blueprints of his parts and also his signature shotgun and its parts and the shotgun it is extremely fun to play with. To get everything once you will need 72 Kulervo's Bane, which is not that much but I'm assuming more things will be added in future. I made him look like a demon which doesn't really mean anything but hey, it, it is what it is. Thank you for watching, please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe and also have a very Nice day. Bye, guys.